Welcome to Us Crazy Christians, where we uncover Christian myths and Bible misinterpretations with common sense Christianity. I'm your host, William E. Smith. Today, we're going to do myth number two, and we're going to deal with sin separating us from God. Stick around. Now, honestly, I have already dealt with this subject in at least two different videos, probably three videos on this channel now that I think about it. But they've all been funny. They've all been funny videos with skits and stuff like that, like the sin allergy. It's another one with my children in it, and I cannot think of the name of it right now. But the thing is, is that when you think about sin separating us from God, that is a myth. That is a misunderstanding of the scripture. And the funny thing is really only one scripture in the Bible that alludes to this. And it seems like the church or a lot of the church has run away with this idea. It's in Habakkuk. I think it's chapter 13 or Habakkuk 13. I don't remember, something like that. But it talks about how God cannot look on sin. And, like, and it alludes to the idea of sin separating us from God. And, and the church has just run away with that. A lot of preachers have said that. I have said that over the years. But really, if you, if you just stop and read like a couple, a sentence or two more, it says, well, why do you, God? So if God can't and he's not supposed to, why does he the same scripture ask? So obviously he does. Not only is that scripture itself proving that that is a myth, the Bible is full of evidence that that is a myth. The Bible said that God was in Jesus reconciling the world to himself. Jesus hung with sinners. The Bible says where sin does abound, grace much more abounds. I can go on and on. There is too much evidence to prove the contrary. And it's funny that how the church religion, I should say, has grabbed hold to this myth about God separating himself from us when we sin. Even if you look at Adam and Eve, and I've talked about this again in other videos, even did a little skits about it. But if you look back to the Garden, the garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned, once they sinned, God still came to walk with them like he normally does. As a matter of fact, not only did he turn his back on them, he had a conversation with them. He killed animals to clothe them. So we run away with this idea, and it seems like religion's MMO. It, 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 is, a, it is a thing of control and try to control people. But honestly, my friends, that is a myth. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. That is in Romans. Nothing. Sin, anything. What happens when we sin, we feel like God is going to turn his back on us, so we turn our back on him. But God never leaves us nor forsakes us. Hold confident to that. Feel strong in that. And let's kill that myth. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more from us crazy Christians, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Plus, hit the notifications bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching us crazy Christians. Until next time, be blessed.